Hello Aries, this is your extended reading. <laughs> so, these readings are becoming so cosmic and so interesting and so filled with such a, such a high frequency energy. It's just so beautiful and enticing to me. And you know, it's your energy in the end, Aries. So let's begin. We start with the Two of Swords. So it's interesting because what I heard with the Two of Swords, well, it was actually like um, highlighting to me the number two. And so what I heard was, uh, it's like two sentences. So it's, all, it's always in pairs in a sense. Oh, okay, it's related to this. It's like this, the masculine and the feminine in a sense. So it's like the masculine initiates in a sense to open up space to for the feminine to arrive for, you know, the this show to begin in a sense, right? So what the two uh, sentences that I received with this two of swords were two minds, and two eyes see as one. And you know, it's interesting because we do have two eyes, but because they are lined up, what I was seeing, it's like, it's your third eye, which is your mind, right? Your own human mind in a sense, right? And the eye, of the sky, the eye of God, you know, it's like this universal mind. So it's this connection, it's this point of connection that is, it's beautiful because this is what I'm saying. It's like, I feel like this is, it's almost like, so when I saw, you know, the audience in a sense of this show opening up because they have stepped up to in, into their roles. And it's like I saw this um, very thin line, very thin thread of smoke coming upwards, right? And connecting. It's almost like what I'm seeing with the Two of Swords. It's like this is the only way to see this show in a sense. You know, it's almost like this is a requirement, right? To actually see the spectacle to actually see this main presentation which is lending but it's like it's like it's not something that you see with your open eyes you see what i mean so these two minds and these two eyes as one it's like this is this is the point of connection it's like it's not seeing only with your third eye also it's like this unified vision in a sense, right? Like this is the only way that you can actually see this show. So with the three cards that are following, I feel like in a sense, it is explaining to me that whoever came to this show, whoever came to be part of this audience and not only, you know, the audience, well, not only the audience that you brought right that you uh called them or that you presented them uh the opening of the show in a sense aries it's like um whoever felt that they are capable of seeing the show in a sense right because they have come to this point of really it's like they hold space for this arrival for the arrival of the high priestess in a sense, um, which is, you know, represented also by the star here. So we have the Knight of Cups, the Five of Pent Pentacles, another five, and the star. So this is what I'm saying. What I was seeing uh, in the first part with the two fives, the Five of Swords and the Five of Cups, talking about the, the okay, so this is, now this makes sense, right? As I said, it was hinted in the first part that, Although, yes, it had like a double meaning with the world card opening up the first part being this sphere, you know, as a seed inside of you contracting and expanding, contracting and expanding. 
in a sense that it was a preparation for you to become fluent in this language of your emotions, right? In order to connect to this spirit, uh, spiritual realm, it's also something related to where you are, the place you were born or the place you live or a place you feel connected to in a sense around the globe, around the earth, right? So it's like, it has very specifically like this physical location now with the five of pentacles especially right uh that is connected to this lighting up of these multiple spheres right around the world so being the the knight of cups it's almost like it's like this call right this call that it wasn't just for you aries this is what i mean it's like this show that you're presenting where you are it's also happening everywhere you see what i mean it's like it's something that is simultaneously happening all around the world and you are a very crucial part of it right because in a sense you're the presenter you see what i mean but it's like you're not the only presenter because it's almost like you know, it's almost like this Knight of Cups, it's not exactly you, but it's it's also you. It, so what I'm seeing, it's like um, there are multiple. This is what is coming through with the Knight of Cups. It's like, it's almost like they have received you, but also others around the world have received a um, message to call others in a sense, right? to a specific location, wherever you are. And you know, it's beautiful because it's like, the way that you're doing so, the way that you are calling others, perhaps you received this call, you know, long ago, right? For you, it was very clear, although, you know, that seed was still small, but it grew and grew and grew and the sound bite became louder. So for you, it was very clear what role you were responsible for, in a sense, right? Because you're already, it's like this initiator, you, you knew, you know, what role you had to step into, right? And so right now, you know, it's interesting because what I'm seeing, it's like, this is like requirement, right? To see this show, you have to not only become fluent, in this language of your emotions right to become this sovereign being right really aware of your own emotions but also it's like you have to have such clear mind to connect with this universal mind in a sense right with this two of swords so it's almost like oh this is so beautiful this is like aries you know clearly what the requirements were and so with these sets of i am just getting goosebumps but um you knew what requirements were uh, had to be fulfilled in order to call the right people to the right place for them to see this show for them to actually i'm just questioning if this is the word is this is the word to say it because I was going to say, see the star, see the star of the show. But as I said, it's not seeing with your eyes. You know what I mean? And I, I don't really know what exactly that means because it feels like it has to be anchored in a place, but with your eyes shut in a sense. And you know that Aries. So it's not something that you can call anyone you know what I mean? So it's like you know exactly the right people to call, right? Because there is this resonance that is heart driven, right? And so because this, what what is coming through with the star is like this show, this spectacle is so sacred, but also so high caliber, so high frequency, you know, that only those with the eyes to see, only those fluent in this language of love and this in this language of their own emotions, right, um, are able to really take the most out of it. You know what I mean? 
So it's not just about perceiving this star, which to me, you know, it's the same thing as the high priestess. It's like, these are the stars of the show, but in a sense, they are one, you know? It's just that now, because, oh yeah, so this is interesting. So first, in the first part, uh, we ended with the high priestess and I couldn't see exactly what was coming, what was uh, the center stage uh, thing that was, you know, catching everyone's attention. It was just this a uh, focus of light in the center of the stage with this smoke built with the smoke building up and up and up. But I couldn't see exactly what was coming out of it, right? And so here with the star is almost like it's not that it's a character or a personified energy. It's like what I'm seeing now, it's like there is an outline and it's something that came through in Pisces reading too, right? So this is the distinction. So it's almost like this is the opening part, right? The spectacle is about to begin. And so these smokes start to set the atmosphere of the stage, but then the it's not the real star, but it's like the it's like the arrival, right? This center stage with this preparation, with this audience, with your presentation, Aries, it's all making room for this. Now it's coming through as like star being, right? Uh, for this star being to land in a sense. So after that, we have these three cards. And this is where it gets really interesting. So we have the Seven of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. So after the arrival or after the show actually begins with the arrival of this star being, right? With the star of the show in a sense, uh, it's almost like their show the spectacle in itself what they came here to to showcase um it's like part of what they came here to present the audience of which you are part of right aries um is helping us so what is coming through with the seven of cups it's like this is well okay so there are two things one the importance of being collective the importance of being something that is an audience you see it's something that is not just you uh in solitude you know it's not it's something that needs to be done in groups so this is the importance of you aries calling the right ones to be part of this show you see because as i said in a way when you presented that the show would begin for people to take their seats it's almost like you were signaling signaling them that they should step into their own roles too that you know this audience is not passive right this audience is also part of the show and this is what is being highlighted by this seven of cups. So when they arrive, when the, the star of the show arrives and they take center stage, it's like now they are, it's like now they are, what I'm seeing is like this smoke is growing onto the audience, right? And this is, it's like this smoke of love is so beautiful because it's like, it's, it's very, it's like, it's like color, it's like, um, it's this wave of color, but it's like, it's not watery. It's like, more, it's more smoky, but it's like this pinkish kind of tone, but it's like so subtle. It's like, um, it's beautiful. It's like this peach kind of color. Anyways, so, <laughs> but it's beautiful because I feel like it's all part of the show. It's like this immersive part of the show where it's like, you know, this love, it's like they're, it's like they are sharing it, right? It's like these star beings, because now 
it's not like one anymore right it's like it's like spreading through the audience through where you are too Aries right because now you're part of the audience too so it's like now they are it's like they're lifting us me being part of this audience too right <laughs> but it's like with this pinkish kind of smoke it's like they're lifting our vibrations in a way that it has to be like it it has to grow right it it's supposed to grow this is part of the show right so it's all it's it feels very emotional but it feels very uplifting it feels like it's like um you know when um uh when you go to the dentist and maybe they give like a ozone kind of uh something to to breathe in right uh i don't know if you know what i mean but um so you you breathe in that ozone and you just get like really high in a sense right because it's this peace and calm and it's just so uplifting right you just and this is what i'm seeing with the seven of cups and so it's almost like this it's not anesthesia it's like this tranquil it's like this it's almost like with this pinkish kind of smoke that they're throwing onto the audience it's like they are pulling the audience and you into their vibration right um and this is almost like the third requir requirement but it's not it's not requirement so it's like um it's like because okay so these two cards the nine of wands and the six of pentacles it's almost like after we've been uplifted after the audience uh has been given this uh wave of love this uh uplift upliftment right uh that is very emotional but very joyful it's like very and very peaceful too right um what i'm seeing is like this elevation it's like the whole audience is breathing together it's beautiful so what i'm seeing it's like now the spectacle is over in a sense uh and it feels it feel it's interesting because it feels very quick but it, it's also like those kinds of moments where it feels like eternal right so this is what is happening and i feel like this is the show in, in itself this is the spectacle in itself right uh and now that they have done this right it's time to move on it's time for the audience to oh it's interesting it's time for the audience to go do the same around the world in a sense right because what i'm seeing it's like now the path has been lift has been ah that's that's interesting the what i heard first was the path has been lit for the audience for you for whomever was part of that show right so it's like what i'm seeing each one of uh these people there in the group you know leaving but leaving with the sense of elevation but now that i said the path has been lift what i what i'm seeing it's like this lift this elevator right so it's almost like it's like going going upwards right being upgraded in a sense but so it's interesting because with this six of pentacles after you've been elevated after the path has been lit or lift uh it's like it has to become dense again in a sense it's almost like after you have come to this place of very uh high frequency right high frequency of love and of light um it's like now the physical path begins now the three-dimensional path begins and it's beautiful because i feel like somehow it's like now it's the next step of this role that you aries and the audience there with you 
already uh, had already stepped in, right, to be uh, participants of the show. But now is this second phase where it's almost like now you have to spread it now. It, and it's not spread the word. It's not. It's not verbal, right? It's very specific because it's emotional, especially because of the card that is on the bottom of the deck because it is another six. So this is all this new path, right? After this spectacle has ended and you have received because you have participated in it, right? Now you have been, you know, given this path because it's now lit, but also you have been lifted to this higher frequency. And it's like this, uh, it's almost like now you have to take it somewhere, right? But so here is also this path, right? You see, but as I said, it's not verbal, it's emotional. So the way in which you will share this, right? Whatever you received from this spectacle, from these star beings is something that is deep within your heart in a sense yes it has a physical aspect to it right because it's like this anchoring down here on earth so your physical body is very crucial but in a sense what you have received wasn't dense so what you have to give what you have to share is not dense it's just that there is this vehicle which is you know the vessel uh our bodies in a sense but your, your sharing is an emotional one, you see? So, um, yes, this is, this is so beautiful. I, I, I love it. And I don't really know exactly what it means, what this spectacle is. These star beings um, perhaps will know, right? Because I feel like it's almost like this is uh this is all like heads up for us to prepare for this especially you Aries right because you're the presenter you are the one calling out the audience so as a final guidance let's see what the astrological runes have to offer you Aries Okay. Okay. Got it. So we have Chiron. So this rune, well, Chiron in astrology is, uh, the wounded healer, right? And so it feels like, yes, it has to do with healing, you know, whatever it is that you have actually, you know, gained when you were part of this collective, when you were part of this spectacle in a sense right uh where your heart has been you know uplifted in a sense right by this uh pinkish smoke and now you are the one uh you and everyone who was a part of that group right has to take it right and take it it's like okay so it's coming through like sharing your healing but also it's not that it's like this, it's like this emotional connection that heals the emotional connection that heals, right? So it's not only, as I said, it's not what you say, it's your energy, it's your emotion. And this is, it's actually, this is, I feel like being the final guidance, it's like, this is, this is actually the true gift right? The true um, energy exchange, right? That this one came to give you. Uh, and so by, you know, embodying your own healing process, right? And embodying all of your emotions, right? With complete honesty. This is something that Chiron well, to me sp symbolizes, right? It's like there is a lot of honesty, right? There is no shame. There is no guilt. It's, 
it's the contrary, right? It's like there is a lot of honesty, right? This, that is the best word that I can use. So it's honesty with yourself, but honesty with expressing your emotions because it heals. This is the final guidance for you, Aries. So this is beautiful. I hope it was insightful. I hope it was um, enlightening in any way possible. So thank you so much for being here with me, Aries. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.